everyone and welcome to my little world. I'm Katie and I'm here today with two of my biggest babies in my collection. This is my Tobiah by Laurel Eagles, my Karolinka. And here is her sister. This is Sophie. And she Sophie is Maggie by Natalie Bleak. And we would like to welcome you to our topic video today. Or, well, it's going to be a fri fake Friday awareness that was started by Ping Lau herself. If you go to Ping Lau, uh, the sculptor. Hello everyone, welcome to my little world. I'm Katie and I'm here today with two of my biggest babies in my collection. My Tobiah by Laura Lee Eagles, my Karolinka, and my Sophie, who is uh, Maggie by Natalie Bleak. And they are wearing their little big sister twinning outfits. And they're going to help me with this video because this is probably even may not be the most pleasant topic or discussion that I've had on my channel, but I feel it's very, very needed. And it's going to be dedicated to Fake Friday Awareness, started by amazing Ping Lao herself. If you go to Ping Lao's social media, you will see the post. I'm going to post the post here on the screen. So if you would like to read it, just pause your screen and read it. And I will be talk talking about this. I'm, this whole video is going to be dedicated to my talk about pressing matters in our community. I think uh, it touches all of us. It doesn't matter if you are the sculptor or an artist or a collector or both. Um, so I'm just going to be addressing that. But yeah, I have... To, uh, I started this video uh, on a changing note. I was changing these two, but I decided to cut it out and uh, just go straight to the topic. So. so, back to my topic here. As I said, it's Fake Friday Awareness Day, and it was posted, I read the post on Ping Lao's uh, social media, she is one of the most copied sculptors out there and she has been really diligently and actively fighting uh, Chinese, uh, these companies and factories who steal the scalps, original authentic scalps from probably most of these sculptors and they produce them massively. Therefore, they're taking their hard work, someone's hard work and turning it into profit without doing anything, okay? They just take the kit, they uh, do a mold, they cast it, they, and they, they sell it, okay? They are not bothered to hire their own sculptors. They're just profiting out of someone else's work. There is no other way to call it. And this video, why I'm making this video, uh, I'm not trying to bully anyone and I'm definitely not targeting anyone, especially not anyone in specific. This video is from my point as a private collector and supporter of authentic art. And now don't please try to twist it that, oh yeah, she had, there she is sitting with her expensive dolls and this and that, it's so easy for her to tell. No, authentic reborn art, it doesn't matter how much you paid, it, it doesn't matter if it's a boo-boo baby, it's a, if it's a cattle baby, if it's a budget baby, if it's be beginner's baby, if it's a Yora prototype artist uh, baby. It has nothing to do with the fact uh, why we call these dolls reborns. True reborn. It, it doesn't matter if it comes from, as I said, how much you paid, okay? Or what is the quality of, or what is the hair, if it's a painted hair, or if it's a little baldy, or if it's a nicely rooted doll, or if it's a beginner rooted doll, okay? That's not about that. Reborns, they come from sculpted kits, authentic kits, and they are done by artist's hand. Reborn artist's hand. They're not done in factories. What do you see out there when you go on eBay, when you go on Amazon, when you go on Walmart? I was just scrolling my playlist and I did a video about in 2017, I think it was, the Walmart was first public platform where they started selling these manufactured dolls. Okay, there is no, and now I want to clarify, there is nothing wrong with manufactured babies. If you can't afford a reborn, 
and you still want to have fun with your baby and to be a doll mommy, that's absolutely fine, ladies. You can go and, you know, there are tons of dolls being sold that are not a stolen property. They're not illegal replica kits, ladies and gents. That's my problem. My problem is people who just buy them and they expect, they actually demand to be accepted. And now I see influx of these Chinese companies with these stolen kits. They are not only on Instagram, they're not only on Facebook. Oh, I'm not even going into Etsy, uh, not Etsy, on eBay, Amazon, Walmart. Uh, they have their own websites. They are now openly advertising here, demanding to be accepted here on YouTube into Rebrand Doll community. No. This is how, when I put my foot down, I'm sorry, but no, that's, that's absolutely unacceptable that you would be coming and advertising. And I see a couple of people who are actively supporting these Amazon stolen kids, okay? They're probably even making money out of the, uh, this community, calling these dolls reborns and all unknowing beginners, all unknowing newcomers, they will come and they say, okay, they don't know better, they don't know about this fight that we as a community and sculptors and artists, we have been going through uh, all, all these years. They just they just see it all, they got interested, just like every one of, one of us. There was this day when we came across Reborn, say, we become fascinated, so we go on social media, we go on Facebook, we Google it up, we go on eBay, and we go on YouTube to watch the videos. So everyone who comes here and they come across the channel that is advertising fake dolls, calling them reborns, they don't know better. They will buy these dolls. So I don't think it's acceptable for these people who are actually, who know better, they know what they're doing, they know what they are advertising, they know that they're probably even linking, they get the links to Amazon stores and they're getting money out of this community selling these dolls calling them reborns when in fact they are not reborns. They're manufactured out of stolen property and they're manufactured in, in uh, factories being sold to unknowing people and to a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of knowing people because I know I'm the part of a couple of Facebook groups and these people are getting really, really abrasive. They come out, uh, they come to the serious dolls like, even to a doll fan and they use not only the pictures of these dolls but they use stolen prototypes pictures i saw a medi done by silvia esquera called helena which helena is actually a saskia doll in silvia's collection and uh there's they're trying to sell these dolls but they are sending fake maggies and they have audacity to come to a serious groups okay not only beginners groups but serious collectors groups where people are truly a collector so we we know what's going on most of them you have sculptors there so they have absolutely no quarries to come there and demand to be part of the community and when people say well we have to be welcoming and this and that well let me tell you something these are the part of art these are art dolls handmade dolls a lot of blood and sweat and money goes into sculpting them. The sculptors, they, they have to sculpt a lot of years or they have to be a lot of talented. They, they put their own money into uh, pro, like uh, the process of producing the vinyl kits themselves. Then all artists, reborn artists, there goes a lot of love, a lot of hours and thought, like, oh my God, years of practice into creating these dolls. So basically saying that I support fake manufactured dolls and they should be equally called reborns as all of these dolls that are truly a reborn, that are truly done out of a lot of experience out of a lot of love out of a lot of sweat and blood of and every each of these sculptors and every one of each uh, every each reborn artist are putting into their work i think it would be atrocious it's like spitting at work of all of these artists and not only sculptors i'm talking about about reborn artists all of you reborn artists out there you know how much money it comes 
and it goes into getting good, okay? You have to invest in your supplies. You have to invest. You probably mess up a lot of kids. And I'm not even going into uh, all, not only the paints and materials, but also the rooting supplies, the rooting needles. Everything's so expensive. So basically when someone comes with a doll for $65 from China, saying, I demand you, you call my doll, my doll is equally good than yours. No, it's not. No, it's not because there are hundreds of people, thousands of people, artists and sculptors together and, and, and honest people who truly, truly put hours and hours and years and decades of their hard work into these beautiful pieces of art. And there you come with your stolen property doll spray painted in a factory demanding to you know to be accepted by all these people and ladies and gents come on let's be objective here okay yes you you have the doll you are a doll collector you are a fake doll collector but please don't come into this community just demanding something and calling people bullies just for saying that we don't agree with it it, it is nothing personal okay I have nothing about against these people who are doing it as human beings, okay? It's up to you what you support. You ultimately have to decide what you're going to pay for and what you're going to do with it. But for you to come here and demand something, it's like if you got into a museum with fake painting, saying, okay, this is my piece of art, you're going to, uh, you're going to just exhibit it right next to the original. You're going to exhibit it right with true art, authentic art. It's going to be hanging in the middle of this gallery and everybody is, you all have to accept it. Otherwise, you're a bunch of bullies, okay? This bullying stuff needs to stop. Misusing the word bullying. You don't know what bullying and harassment is. That is not a bullying and that is not harassment for saying no. No to stolen illegal Chinese copies and no to fakes. And I also want to touch up on uh, something here uh, with digital copies and prints and all that because I've seen some reasoning along the lines. But yeah, you have all these copies, um, physical copies or digital copies of all these art that is being sold all over the place and nobody's complaining. Well, yes, that's true. That's true, even if you go to, let's say, uh, Chicago's Institute of Art, you have their gift shop and you can purchase the posters of the original art, the copy of the original art. You also have the books. We have the little, like, little statues and objects. Um, we, here in our doll community, we are well aware of a lot of children's books, illustrators. Uh, their characters are being used on prints, on the... Uh, clothing companies, okay? But these are licensed copies, ladies and gents, okay? All of these people, all of these copies are licensed. They pay for the, uh, they pay to the original owner of the rights. If you have, if you create an art and you are the original artist, you can sell the copyrights to someone. You can, okay, willingly. Nobody can force you to say, sell uh, them their copyrights. But therefore, these companies, they purchase the copyrights. They are licensed to sell these copies. And what that means is that part of the profits from these copies are still going to the original artist, to the original source, uh, or the rights owner, copyright owner. So that is the main difference between Chinese fakes and licensed copies. Chinese factories, they don't own the right. They don't have the license to produce any of these copies. Therefore, that's what makes the dolls fake. The fake doesn't even mean the, the, uh, only the replica. It's the replica or the art being replicated without the copyright, without the right or license to produce them. Therefore, these companies are pocketing uh, all the profit and nothing goes to original sculptors. That's why it's wrong. So I'm just trying to explain how it works here. So no, if you purchase a 
poster from the licensed dealer that it's a licensed replica that doesn't make it fake and that there's a huge difference between those two. I'm not talking about beginners, people who truly just some grandma who comes online and uh, their grandchild, they're, they want a doll. So basically they, they buy them a doll, okay? I'm talking about people who know what they are doing because I know there are plenty of these people in this community and on all social platforms. I've seen people who have been advertising fakes and they also have real reborns. Therefore, they know how much the real reborn is. They know how much work goes and art and everything goes into creating a doll. And they still choose to participate in this fake trade and support all this because they're probably, I don't know, are they getting money? or what's going on, building their channels, um, building their accounts on Facebook, going to groups, attacking other people when others say, well, this is not right, okay? Create your own community, create your own groups. If you feel like, yeah, this is, uh, these are the dolls that I want to buy, these are the dolls I'm going to spend my money on, um, or the, wh whatever reason you have, but please don't come and say and demand something because it's unthinkable like think about it guys as i said you don't come to gallery with your fake uh, copy demanding that it's accepted in an art community it's just not not even i mean i can't even believe that we have to defend ourselves in this community sometimes uh, when people say, oh, you're such bullies. No, but you absolutely, we need to grasp what is the concept of true bullying and harassment. You don't want me to go there because I have been at the receiving end of it for years. And I don't talk about that nonsense here because this is a dull channel. So saying no to fake is that's not bullying, that's not harassment. It's the right thing to do. And targeting people for doing the right thing i'm so sorry but that's I, I just i just can't with that this is why i'm making this video and as i said i'm not targeting anyone you do whatever you have to do but don't come into my on my channel and don't come into the community demanding that we call your dolls reborns and you doing it knowingly creating these videos calling them reborns you're basically spreading misinformation to all newcomers. You're spreading misinformation to the public who doesn't know better and they are just, they go and like, oh, that's a cute doll. They see you opening your fake doll or changing your fake doll while you are calling it reborns. They, they don't know better. They go and they buy the doll. This is how it's happening. So to me, people who know what they're doing and still supporting it and pretending that those are true reborns, I feel no. It's just the whole reborn doll word misuse. It's a doll, okay? It's a baby doll, but that's not a reborn, as I said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will keep going. And this, this needs to be constantly addressed because we have constantly new people coming. We have constantly new uh, potential collectors who are watching our videos. So therefore, ladies and gents, if you have a blank kit, if you have limited editions, if the blank kits, their price is around $100, some more, some less, uh, real borns are a little bit less, some um, sculpts, um, sculpted artists sculpt are more, these days because everything went up. So if the blank kit, let's say it's $120, there is no way you can get that doll done for $65 or $100 with free shipping. Buy one, get one free. Absolutely not. Amazon dolls are not reborns. I'm sorry, they're not. Every time I go on Amazon, I see that. I just saw a fake Maggie. There is a channel now from the Amazon store opened a YouTube channel where they're changing these dolls and they have a fake Maggie with painted hair. Absolutely atrocious. I can't even with that nonsense. So ladies, uh, also we have these accounts. 
on Instagram and I even saw artists who don't pay attention following giving credibility to these people there are a lot of scamming websites there are a lot of individuals who are trying to make the buck fast buck out of this community and especially new collectors so I think we all need to do our part okay our own diligence ladies and gents and I'm sorry if you're one of people who are pro fakes I'm sorry I'm not targeting you I'm not I'm not as I said I'm not trying to bully anyone I'm just as I think it's my right and it's the right of sculptors to say no okay I, can you imagine being the sculptor putting all this work into sculpting it's not easy okay it takes years to become a good sculptor it takes tons and tons of practice tons and tons of money into materials the sculpting materials if you're a reborn artist painting rooting all that it, it, there's a lot of money a lot of time a lot of work a lot of sweat a lot of disappointment uh, and fails involved into creating each one of these babies because it takes a couple of tries to perfect the art can you imagine going through all this only for some Chinese factory taking your work and now selling it and making tons and tons we're talking about millions of dollars at this point can we stop the fake industry no we can't but I think we all have the right to say no we all have the right and I think it's kind of all of us creators who are who have this word to and public platform I think it's um it's very important for us to spread awareness constantly and please for all people who have these faith this is not bullying please do not try to twist it into something that it's not it's just bringing awareness and maybe messing up your sales but I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm here I'm a serious collector I support unapologetically authentic art I have been supporting it for over six years now very actively I'm the part of many groups, I'm the part of uh, doll collectors uh, community, I'm, uh, I'm the friends with a couple of sculptors, friends, like friends. I am friends with uh, many, many artists and I know how very, very upsetting this has been for everyone out there. Even from the position of reborn artists, not only the sculptors, if someone takes your baby's uh, finished picture this is happening especially on public accounts with dolls when these companies they just come they start following public reborn accounts reborn collectors accounts they take the picture of their doll and they're, they're trying to scam people with this picture even that is super upsetting okay even if you didn't sculpt the doll if you didn't paint the doll but you paid for that baby that's your baby and someone is using that baby's face your own pictures that you took from your own account to scam people to pretend that they're selling this they're, that people would buy this and if the baby is cute of course you have a knowing public who will buy it so we truly truly i think we owe it to these sculptors we owe it to artists we owe it to ourselves we owe it to each other as private collectors and as artists as i said and sculptors we owe it to this hobby to to protection of authentic art we owe it uh we need to speak out ladies and gents we need to uh, kind of like do our i'm not saying we're going to stop it because i think honestly it's been quite tiring it's been quite tiring to be constantly repeating ourselves here on social media it's been tiring for sculptors to see with every new sculpt that comes out to see it being stolen with it within a couple of days now i mean ava came out and within not even uh, two weeks it was like 10 days and ebay was littered with fake ava sculpts i keep mentioning ava because that's one of the first uh Cassie Bracey's scalps that has been uh, massively copyright like produced okay like fake stolen uh, now we have Laurel Eagle sculpts oh my goodness uh, Maggie's by Natalie Bleak you have even fake COAs you have even fake markings 
Now, Natalie Bleak's the numbers and Natalie Bleak signature on the head. Now it's copyrighted too. Nobody's safe. Even people who don't want to buy fakes and fake kits, we are all in danger when buying blank kits, especially uh, editions that have been sold out. And now you have even open editions, okay? And don't get me started on Rosalie. Rosalie has been copied massively. I can't even with fake Rosalies everywhere. Uh, the kits. The Finnish babies and also the kids. Uh, <laughs> I mean, everything. I saw fake Jude, a Bonnie Brown scalp, that poor woman. I can't even with that either. I mean, each one of her scalps have been, has been massively produced. Joanna Kay's babies. It's just like all these, ba all these artists, seriously. And it, I see a couple of them, few of them getting really, really upset about it, especially Bonnie Brown and Pink Law because uh, all of their scalps, all of their babies that came out of their heart and it's and came out of their hands, their hard work. And within not even two weeks, you see them stolen, these scalps. You see them stolen, you see them sold as true, not, not as replica dolls, okay? That's the, that's the problem too. They're sold as real kids. They're called reborn kids or Finnish dolls are called reborns when they're not. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry if this video is going to upset people. As I said, this is not meant to hurt anyone. I just want to take my stand in this fight to once again to remind this community that we need to be diligent in this. We need to spread awareness. Uh, Please, especially people who are trying to now support this Amazon trade and trying to get the money out of its community, please just don't do it, okay? That's not, it's not the right thing to do. It's not the right thing to do. I just don't know what else to say. And I think, yeah, you say, okay, I have my right to do whatever I want to. Yes, you, that's true. But I have my rights to do whatever I want to as well. And this is my platform. And I, I am the one who supports authentic art, the sculptors and artists, both. And this is my right to speak out and I'm speaking out. So, you know, I have been really, really on my channel trying to be positive. Truly, I enjoy my hobby. I have a lot of money invested in it, trust me. And I work hard to get these dolls. I am... I, I just don't, it's not like I, the dolls are coming out of the skies here in Chicago, okay? So for me, even for me as a collector, I bought, uh, let's talk about Maggie here. That's limited edition. Uh, these kits are expensive. For some, I didn't get the kit on a secondary market. Uh, I got it on pre-order and then of course my first one was lost. Uh, and the kid was replaced by the sculptor herself. How sweet, okay? How sweet and how generous. But a lot of people, they got their blankets and they pay $450, $500. So for someone, you know, from even from collector's position, if you buy your true kid because you want to support authentic art and nobody, okay, nobody, is happy just to throw away $500 for a blanket because you love the sculpt so much. It would be easier, trust me, it would be easier to just go on eBay and buy myself a cheap fake kit, okay? For $60 or $70 or $35 what I've seen, the bidding auctions, okay? Do you think that we, people want to spend all this money that we absolutely, oh my God, I can't wait to pay $500 for a blank kit. Oh, I absolutely don't want a good deal. I don't want cheap, uh, cheap price. Okay, I totally, totally prefer my to work my butt off, and to pay all this money for blank kit so I could have it done. Totally. Who does that? Nobody. Everybody would like to get a good deal, but we do what is right, and that is not right to support fake kids and fake manufactured dolls. So yeah, trust me, people don't, we, we don't choose or we, we don't do it because we totally, totally, oh my gosh, I can't, 
okay? I prefer $500 blank kits over a normal price. Sure. No. No. But I do what is right. I do what is right. I adjust my collecting to the current market price and everything, and I save the money. So, you know, not everyone can afford it. Well, I can't afford a lot of things in my life. Let me tell you, ladies. I had to make a lot of sacrifices in my life. I don't want to sit here on my high horse because I know people are struggling, but let me tell you, I came into this country with one suitcase and I worked two jobs. Most of people, most of private collectors you see uh, with uh, their collections, everyone works, okay, ladies? It's not like we are getting the dolls for free. I don't even get good deals for most of the time, okay? just because I have the YouTube channel and I'm getting some discounts. No, it doesn't work that way. This is an art and we pay a lot. Art is always expensive. Always expensive. I would like to have amazing art even in paintings. My grandparents, they do have, but I, I, I live here across the world and it's expensive. So I, and I would, I would love to have certain things in my life, certain type of homes and certain types of cars. And I would love not to have to work, but I, 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 that's just not the case. So, you know, it is what it is. We don't have it all, but everything we have through collectors, we save for it and we enjoy it. And I'm sorry if some people are upset, but it's just not right. It's just not right to come here uh, to take shortcuts with fakes and to demand something. Especially, yeah, they, it's your baby, you love it, good for you, but don't demand others to accept it as a true, like as a reborn art. That's what I'm trying to say. I, okay, ladies, so this video turned into a very long rant, so I will be going, I, uh, want to thank everyone who uh, stuck here with us till the end. There's Karolinka and there's Sophie. Oh, we want to thank you for being here and we want to wish you a wonderful weekend. Hopefully I will be live. Uh, please leave your thoughts down in comments. No attacks because I will be deleting all attacks or, or ugly comments, ladies. I'm sorry. I, I've had it with that. I've seen some things happening in a community. I don't agree with it. I think I'm always trying to be polite, even, excuse me, even in videos like this. And, you know, I, I'm not going to tolerate any nonsense down in the comment section. So please, ladies, uh, once again, thank you for being here. And we would like to wish you a wonderful rest of your day. And we will see you in our live stream or a video. Bye.